Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, it is my dream to be an entertainer. So if you are at all entertained by this video, please like it and consider subscribing for more content. Today we are doing dip powder kit nails. And uh, before we begin, just remember, set your troubles at the door. Did it get dark in here? And, uh, yeah, stop thinking, which I apparently did. So as you might notice, this is same day as the flower crown. So I am writing my high of what I considered a nail to um, do what I know most assuredly will be a fail. So uh, with this, I have tried this before. It has been opened. Yeah, you can tell I have hot glue on myself. Who has time for breaks? Surely not I. I am recording these back to back because I am going to be out all next week pretty much um, volunteering at a kid's camp and uh, I need time to do my voiceover job because I do actually have a job. So um, <laughs> I needed to fit this in this week whenever I can. Uh, am I exhausted? Yeah, but we're gonna go with it. So um, yeah, I have problems doing my own nails. I have tried dip powder, I've tried acrylic, uh, UV, all that kind of stuff. I followed the procedures, I follow the rules, and they pop off. They're like, they're supposed to stay on for like three weeks. I will put them on, five minutes later they will pop off. I don't know that I've kept anything on for longer than a day. I have now, I usually get just the press on ones where you glue them on. Those today I found a really good glue. I was gonna do a, an episode on glue just to show you how awesome this glue is. Um, but I don't know, I'm definitely not a nail channel so I didn't want uh, all the beauty gurus going after me. Um, so I'm doing this mostly so that maybe someone can tell me in the comments below what I did wrong. Again, this is gonna be a fail. Um, I will be surprised if I end this video with these nails still on. So, and just to say, I have gotten professional acrylic nails once in my life. They did stay on for three weeks, and then I did the, uh, you know, tinfoil thing to remove them. So, I know my nails are capable of keeping them on. I have just never been able to myself. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. And this is also not going to be any kind of slight against Azure Beauty. Um, I'm sure this is a great product. Uh, I, I watch nail, or I used to watch nail videos and stuff. Um, so this is a me problem. I'm not saying that this is a this kit problem. So, um, so it did originally tell me, uh, step one, I've gone ahead and cleaned and washed my nails um, they are dry. Um, that's the thing too. I think that they have too much like natural moisture in them or something. I've even tried using that. There's, there's one product where it like dries out your nails. I have even used that and it will still pop off. So who knows? Um, I didn't do this part when you push the cuticle back, but yeah, so I have pretty much done everything. You can see, um, the, well, now I, ha I do have glue on my nails, so I guess I should go wash them again. But, um, I also, my nails, my, my nails are, are, uh, dyed by my hair because when you itch your scalp with newly dyed hair, they tend to change color. So, um, that's what that is. So when you see that it looks like paint or something, maybe, nope, it is hair dye. Uh, I did not dye my own hair, but, uh, anyone who has dyed hair, especially fashion uh, colors, uh, will know that, yeah, everything you do looks, uh, Kind of goes with you. I used to have crimson hair. Everything looked like a bloodbath. Um, so I'm gonna scuff them up just a little because I was told to do that. All right, clean, dry, nails. Apply a coat of base, oh, dip base powder. Powder. It's not powder yet. To the entire nail surface and then quickly dip it into the desired color. So I have this, I don't know if it came with this kit or not. There's no place for it. I just had it like, I have this whole um, area. So I'm going to use, all right, I will do this one, 16. I really wanted to do the French manicure myself, but um, we will see. I'm just gonna pour that all in there. So we are not doing anything special. I'm not doing any sparkles, I'm not doing any, two-tone colors, what have you. I am just trying to get this stuff to stay on my nails. So I'm going to apply it to the entire nail surface and then quickly dip it into the desired color and use this to um, brush it off. 
that's it. Then I have to do the activator. So I'm gonna do two coats. So let's go ahead, ah, get my hair all in it. That's gross. So I do one coat of this. Shipped a nail and I didn't um, quickly dip it in. Ah. <laughs> okay. I don't think it needs to stay in there. I just need to then gently brush off the access and I let it sit for 30 seconds. All right, time for the second. Okay, so it looks really goopy and like blocky, like I just stuck my finger in colored sugar, but I guess that's what it's supposed to look like. And I am sitting for 30 seconds. So, how's your ma? <laughs> um, and I'm gonna get the activator out. All right, that is the 30 second mark. And then now I'm going to put the activator along the entire surface. I feel like I, I don't know if I got enough on there. Okay, it's starting to look smoother, so I guess I did that correctly. And I let that air dry for an entire minute. Da da da. So he says to my wife with a wooden leg, hey, Peggy. All right. Now it's looking like clay. 15 more seconds. Okay, so it air dried for a full 60 seconds. I actually watched every second. It's hard. Yeah, pretty hard. All right. When the blend is uh, hard, now I can file it. I'm gonna use the file they gave me. This is hard to do. How do these, how do these beauty gurus get good camera angles? Use a drill or coarse grit file to even it out. I don't have any of that. I'm going to lightly Okay. I guess it's okay. I don't know how well you can see it. It looks kind of chunky. Again, 100% my fault. Um, I don't exactly know how I could have made it better since I just followed the line of my nail. And my nails are always chipping. They're brittle because I always put fake nails on them because I like the way that nails look. I should just go get them professionally done. But you can't beat $5 at Walmart. Okay, sure, that's my desired look. Now I can apply the top coat. Wow, look at that. Okay, we're gonna let that air dry for 60 seconds. This is looking a lot better than I remember doing these before. Oh, am I bleeding? Is that old? Oh, that's paint. You know, in this house, <laughs> you can never be sure. <laughs> All right, that's 60 seconds. It, it's still wet to the touch. Well, you guys, I am pleasantly surprised, if you can see. Um, uh, I wanted, I want the, let's see, before I do a second nail gel top, Let's let it sit, sit a second. Cause I know I use the UV gel. Why can I not say that word? UV gel 
and um, that would just peel right off. So maybe, maybe I will have more luck with this. I feel like, I don't know. I'm gonna give it a few more seconds. See, it said wait for it for, to dry for 60 seconds. I only put one coat on. This is just one coat of the top gel. Apply a, a coat of top to the entire nail surface, air dry for 60 seconds. So it says gel, but it doesn't need a UV. It's just gel-like. It's still wet, because I wanted to try the peel, peel test. I want to just peel it off, see if it's going to peel off. Because, I mean, this stuff's supposed to stay on. Look at that. Are you allowed, are you supposed to be able to have that happen to you? I let it harden. It hardened so much, I was able to do this. It didn't come off, it didn't, it didn't go anywhere, right? So yes, it's still sticky from the top coat, but the rest of the stuff, like, and see my nail bends, like it's not, it's not strong, but it is coming off. Is that supposed to happen? Because I tell you, that's exactly what happens and it just pops right off. Some of them like will pop, like it'll harden all at once. It will come off almost like I could just do a press on and glue it back on. That's why I didn't want to do the rest of them. I was, uh, I was sneaking. Did you tell? Could you tell I was sneaking? And I only did one finger. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below why this happens because I'm telling you, yes, no, I tried that myself, but um, usually I'm saying it will pop right off. So it did look a little bit better. It did, did do better this time. Now I'm just gonna take it off so it matches the rest. I, I just feel like it shouldn't, it shouldn't do that. You know, and like the acrylics will do the same thing. So I, I don't know. See, now it looks like it barely anything, anything happened. It's a little bit drier than the rest of my nails. Is this because I didn't, uh, how, you know how it looked clunky around the nail? Maybe that's why, but to be able to get my fingernail in there and pop it off. Um, again, that one didn't pop off as, as easily as it usually does, but like that would not last. When, you know, I clean the pot after dinner, they're chipped. Why, why is that happening? And why would I want that? Why would I spend 20 minutes doing my nails if they're just gonna chip right off, right? So let me know in the comments below what I did wrong. Um, I followed the steps, so I'd really like to know. But uh, that will do it for this one. So remember that you are loved, you are worth it, and whatever you are struggling with today will pass. Until next time, stay crazy.